YouTube, what's good, Josh? We're at Poppy Q, aka Quan. I'm back with another video, and I haven't said that in about five months, but the time is here. Happy New Year's to you all. This honestly feels weird. I sh I'm not gonna lie, I shot this intro like 30 times, my nigga, because it just feels weird. But I'm gonna leave this one be because I'm gonna just go off the dome. I'm gonna just flow with this shit. But as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, we are doing a recent sneaker pickup. I'm gonna be showing y'all pickups that I picked up within the, the whole time I was going within this cool little five months. It's not a crazy amount of shoes, but it's a decent amount of shoes and it's shoes that I've actually wanted. So I'm gonna show that to y'all. And I say that to say, I am back posting on the Poppy Q channel 2022. I'm not, I'm gonna try my hardest to post at least once a week while still posting on my second channel. So with that being said, I'm not gonna talk your heads up. Let's go and hop straight into today's video. All right, y'all, for the first shoe and probably my most worn shoe out of all the shoes that I picked up while I've been going is my Rick Owen Dark Shadows. As y'all can see, bro, they, they hella beat. Like, I don't care about the shoe getting dirty because I just feel as if it looks better dirty. So I will wear these shoes without cleaning them an unlimited amount of times because I consider this my everyday sneaker. But as y'all can see, Rick Owen Dark Shadow Lows. I need to get a pair of Ramones, but that's neither here nor there. First shoe that I picked up while I was going. And yeah, man, let me know what y'all think about them in the comments down below. Yeah, these are my beaters. So with that being said, let's hop straight into them. All right, y'all moving on to the second shoe in my recent pickups. I did indeed pick up these Yeezy Boots. Yeezy Season 3, I think they're called Military Boots in a rock colorway. I honestly love these shoes, but they comfortable as hell. And I actually posted a picture with them on Instagram. I'm, I'm gonna pop the picture up and show y'all. Once I posted that picture, they was like, why does they got on military boots, hiking boots? They, I, they was just joining on me, I ain't gonna lie. But these are those Yeezy Season 3 Military Boot Rock, as y'all can see. I mean, technically they are military boots, you know what I'm saying? The silhouette of the sneaker is like a military boot. But I don't know. If you can get your hand on a pair of Yeezy military boots, get you some, bro. These shoes are comfortable as hell, and it's like a perfect winter shoe. I'm not gonna lie. Yeezy boots, season three. On to the next. Alright, y'all. So it seems as if my whole, you know, what I'm saying, sneaker wardrobe has changed because I just been dipping and dabbing into different shoes. But this shoe is a shoe that I've seen, and once I seen it, I was like, I kind of like them. Then I fell in love with them after I got them, and I was wearing them every day after I got them. So these shoes I have are the Cactus Plant Flea Market Air Force Ones, as y'all can see in the black colorway, the black and white colorway. It, it was between these and the black and yellow ones, but I went with these because black and white, you know, so you can piece that with more fits. But yes, they are black forces, but they ain't the regular ones. So don't even go there because I don't, I don't pertain to them type of activities. As y'all can see, Cactus Plant Flea Market Air Force Ones, not really too much to say about them other than the fact that it's basically like a fucking hype beast Air Force One. Simple as that. But on to the, this is a third sneaker. On to the fourth sneaker. All right, so on to the next sneaker. This shoe was an impulsive ass buy. I seen them and I was just like, man, they look different. Let me try something out. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. So when I bought these shoes used from a, a reselling store in my city, and these are the Rick Owen Beetle Boots. I think that's the name of them. But I'm not finna lie. I think I'm finna sell these hoes because they just, I don't know, like when I put them on, they just don't hit harder as if when I don't have them on. They, they just look better off feet than they do on feet. Personal opinion. But yeah, they are a nice looking shoe. They got the platform, as y'all can see. Thick ass sole, and I got them used. That's why they look like this. But once you put them on, that little crease go out. That ain't, that's besides the point. Yeah, Rick Owen Beetle Boot or Tractor Boot, some shit like that, I'm, I'm not sure. But this is that. Let me know what y'all think about these in the comments down below. Would y'all wear them? Would y'all cop them? Yeah, I was feeling like on some Cardi shit when I bought these. I ain't gonna lie. I need to stop. That's another thing. I need to stop impulsively buying shit. Because I just be buying shit. Like, if I see something and I like it, I will get it. And that's bad. I need to stop doing that. Because these shoes are... Hell nah, bro. Alright, y'all. On to the next sneaker. This shoe is a shoe that I've wanted ever since I was in high school in this specific colorway and I think it's one more other colorway that I would want to have in this same shoe. So with that being said, these shoes are the Raf Simon Oswegos or Oswegos as y'all can see. Oh shit. It's a it's like a cool ass shoe. The hype around them died down, but hey I'm still gonna have a pair of wraps in my collection every time. You know what I'm saying? You can't it's just like a shoe you gotta have. Me personally like as y'all can see on the tongue got the raft simming y'all probably can't see but yeah man it's a, just the coolest shoe all around and they are comfortable as fuck bro so if y'all into different shit cop you a pair of wraps they won't you know what i'm saying disappoint and yeah not really too much to say it's just an all red sneaker 
they pop like they look nigga you throw these on with anything they're gonna pop like the shit gonna pop harder than your outfit so you don't even gotta wear nothing too crazy with these shoes because the shoes hold their own weight so with that being said let's hop straight into the next shoe all right so on to the next shoe this shoe is like a shoe that i was honestly finna build a collection around i'm honestly finna start collecting these shoes but it is indeed babesters i know babesters used to be hype and lit back in the day but the shit died down but now i feel as if they're making a comeback and these shoes are so comfortable bro like the pattern on, as y'all can see on the inside oh the name of them are batman x babester collab as y'all can see with the batman and the babester logo but yeah these shoes are comfortable as fuck like these are way more comfortable than your regular air force one and it's like the same air force one silhouette but the shoe itself is comfortable as hell all right so yeah on to my second pair of, well this was the first pair of babies that i got but this is the second pair of babies i'm showing y'all so as y'all can see i don't know the name of these hoes but when i seen them i was like oh yeah them crazy i need them type shit as y'all can see cool ass colorway and yeah bro babesters are just comfortable as hell like i don't know it's just something about them and every time i wear these to be exact i get a compliment anywhere i'm at like somebody will compliment me oh i like your shoes what kind of shoes are those it's just that's just the name the shoe hope it's a nice ass shoe if you can get you some babesters nigga go get you some babesters because they him all right y'all on to the next shoe if y'all know me y'all know i'm not like a designer person i don't really care too much for a designer but when i seen this shoe one of my bros got this shoe but they got it in a different colorway when i seen them with them i was like i need them but in a different colorway and y'all know like i said before i'm not really too much big headed over designer but as y'all can see we got the alexander mcqueen boots low can a boot be low or is it just called a shoe a sneaker I don't know, bro. The platform shoes, platform Alexander McQueen boots, if they call boots. I don't fucking know. As y'all can see, it ain't really too much to say. It's just a black and white sneaker. Comfortable as hell. Most recent pickup of 2022. And yeah, on to the next shoe. All right, y'all, on to the next shoe. So this shoe is a shoe that I've wanted for a long ass time. And before I get into anything, I just want to say, RP to go, RP to Virgil. So let me tell you a little story. So before I got these shoes, I wanted them for like four or five months prior to me actually buying them but I just never actually bought him. So I was just procrastinating on getting the shoe. And then he passed away, sadly. And once he passed away, y'all know this, every fucking value of all his shoes went up. So the day he passed away, I looked at StockX and the shoe was like $800. Or I looked on GOAT and the shoe was like $800. And I was like, hmm, I might just gotta do it because the shoe's gonna go up. And I did something else, like my mind went somewhere else and I did something and I forgot to do it. Then the next day I went back to look at the app to see if I was gonna get the shoes and the fucking price went up to a thousand dollars. And I was like, all right, bro, I'm not gonna let the shoe go up. But this is probably one of my grails, as y'all can see. The Jordan 5 Off-White Muslins. Muslin, I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, man, this shoe is just cool as hell. And I don't really like five no more. Like I used to like them as a kid, but like, I don't know. It's just something about this shoe itself like this shoe is most definitely top three in my collection as y'all can see and yeah it's not really too much to say like i said before rp the goat off-white fives on to the next shoe all right so on to the next pair of shoe we have a pair of yeezy boots as y'all can see we have the yeezy knit runners and these shoes are size different like i wear a size eight and a half nine ish and i got these shoes in an eight because that's what the store had and they hurt, so I'm finna get rid of these hoes and get a different size because yeah. But the shoe overall, when they first re when they first released, like that is gonna be released, and they showed the pictures, I was like, I need them fucking shoes. But as y'all can see, Yeezy Boot Knit Runner, it's like a crazy alien looking ass shoe, but I find it unique and I like them, so I got them. And I've been seeing folks put fits together, and y'all niggas been going crazy. I ain't gonna lie, this shit really like a, a sneaker collection video because y'all I haven't been on this channel in so long, so. All my recent shoes is, I don't know what the fuck, hold on. I have to look to the next sneaker in my recent pickups. I didn't need, well this, I didn't buy these. They were sent to me by a brand named Offline Status. Y'all folks go shop if you want to pair these shoes are fire as fuck. And I just can't see myself wearing them because it's like, I think this is one of the first shoes that I've got sent to me for free. And it's just like, that shit means something like, niggas, somebody actually sent me a pair of shoes for free. Like, that shit crazy. As y'all can see, Offline on, back of this one status on the back of this one go shop the instagram is offline status you can find it if you search it up so you know what i'm saying it's like a dunk custom dunk almost with the cross right here with the flame and then you got the flames on the toe box it's a unique ass shoe and i just want to say bro i appreciate you for sending me these shoes you the goat and with that being said on to the next shoe all right so on to the next shoe this shoe came as a pair so it's two pairs they also were sent to me for free by this brand name yums if y'all know yums if you know you if you know yums you know yums if you don't know yums 
nigga they called yums so as you can see for the one of one of two of the shoes here we go it's like a air force one silhouette as well with the yum on the back of the toe tab heel tab and then got the y right here cool little design but this is the first colorway and one thing about these shoes bro is the bottom this shit is unique as hell like just look at that bro you don't really see that on too many shoes so this is another shoe that i cannot wear because it was sent to me for free it's just like it's like a collector's item but this is one of two of the shoes they sent me i'm gonna go ahead and show you this all right on to the second shoe that they sent me it is indeed this colorway and i feel as if this colorway is better than the last colorway just because it's like darker tones and me personally i like darker tones and it's just a fire ass shoe and on the bottom of these it has you know what i'm saying different design different colors Shit just fire as fuck bro like that's crazy a year ago, I was in high school, not knowing I would be where I'm at. Well, two years ago, I was in high school, not knowing I would be where I'm at today. And now I got niggas sending me shoes for free. That's that's love, bro. I, I honestly appreciate y'all, bro. But this is them together. And the box that they came in was fire as hell. So with that being said, go shop official yums or yums.com, yums on Instagram. But this is that. On to the next shoe. All right, y'all. So this is not a recent sneaker. This is not a recent sneaker pickups collection video. If I don't, if I haven't picked up a pair of all white G Fazo, you know what I'm saying? The cocaine Y'all know how I get. If y'all been watching me for a little minute, y'all know I love my Air Force Ones, my all white Air Force Ones, my G Fazos. You can't go wrong with them. But yeah, it's not really too much to say about these shoes. You gotta have a pair of G Fazos in your collection, bro. If you don't, you don't got a collection. All right, y'all. So this next shoe in my collection is a shoe that I will never wear, and. I got them in a trade. I traded my off-white Jordan 4s. The, um, what was the name of them shoes? Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like the cream 4s, the off-white 4s. I traded them for these. And the only reason I traded them is because my off-white 4s was beat the fuck up. Like, I used to wear them to car meets. I, I used to wear them hoes a lot. I ain't gonna lie. And it was beat up. And I felt as if this shoe was a shoe that I would profit from. But nobody wants to buy these hoes. So I'm just gonna keep them in my collection as a shoe. As a, it's like... Once you see this shoe, it's like a remembrance. Like you, it take you back into that time when these shoes first came out and they were so popular. But we do, but yeah, man, we do indeed have the Yeezy Turtle Dub 350s, as y'all can see, and it's just a shoe that it just bring you back. Like every time I see the shoes, it made me think about how when they first dropped and everybody had these hoes, and I wanted a pair so bad. And I used to be watching DDG videos, and he flew to New York to get a pair of these, and it was just like, damn, that's crazy. So it's just a shoe. It's just one of them shoes that I'm gonna just keep in my collection because it's just like nostalgia, I guess. As y'all can see, I probably won't ever wear these, but Yeezy 350 Turtle Dub. And yeah, on to the last and final shoe. All right, on to the last and final shoe. We do indeed have a pair of Dunks. So. While I was gone, I probably bought three or four pair of dunks and sold them all because I went through a dunk phase and then I just suddenly I ain't like dunks no more. But this is one of two that I still have in my collection. I don't know the name of these hoes. I'm gonna just say the Michigan dunks. Well, now the Michigan dunks is yellow and blue. I don't know. As y'all can see, we got these olive green and white dunks cool shoe they look damn near brand new because i don't wear them but yeah it's not really too much to say about this shoe it's just you know what i'm saying cool little colorway of the dunks but i honestly fell out of love with dunks i don't really care too much about them i had the off-white dunks as well i think i had like lot 13 something like that y'all know how you drop the 50 dunks anyways yeah i don't really care too much for dunks anymore so yeah man with that being said that will conclude the recent sneaker pickups for poppy q of the whole time i've been going and yeah man i ain't gonna lie i just felt good as hell filming this video and I feel good about me back posting on this channel, 2022. So with that being said, if y'all enjoyed me, if y'all enjoyed seeing the fashion side of Quan, if y'all enjoyed this channel in general, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. It's your boy Poppy Q, aka Quan, cousin might be the gang, and I'm out. I'll see y'all niggas probably next week. So stay tuned.